Shoot, why today? Can I help you with anything? Yeah, uh, could you get this for me in a size small? I have an anniversary dinner tonight and I wanna look amazing. I'm sorry, we're all sold out. It's a really popular dress. No, please don't tell me that. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <sighs> For a long time, crying in public was seen as shameful and weak, providing plenty of fodder for talk shows. I have to ask you, have you ever just lost it in public? Like, sobbing? But today, it's become more acceptable. From athletes crying after a big loss. It's my quarterback. To public figures. Why am I crying all over? Overwhelmed by emotion in front of cameras. To serve the country I love. Oh. If you overheard this woman crying in public... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What would you do? Our hidden cameras are rolling at Mod on Trend in town and country, Missouri. Ariane is shopping for a dress. What do you think of this? It's so beautiful. You're so cute. Yeah. But when they can't find her size... We don't have it in small. I checked the other stores and we also are out of it. Panic suddenly sets in. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Try it on before you freak. You never know, it may fit and it may be perfect. Ariane takes her advice. And now she goes one step further. Hey ma'am. Yeah. Um, she has another option for you that she thought would look oh, so cute so on you. thank you so much, thank you. Well that was very nice of her, huh? When those options fail, she takes a different approach to help Ariane. All I do when I get this feeling like that is just like, just take a deep breath. It's like, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. And you will find something and it's gonna be even better. Just kind of set your mind up. Let's break it. Who is this perfect stranger? Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. It's John Quinones with What Would You Do, the TV show. Or... Oh no. Are you kidding? Tell us what you were thinking. I just kind of felt her dismay and distress at the moment. A lot of people are suffering in silence about a lot of things, and you just don't know. This next customer also goes out of her way to check in on Ariane, providing a shoulder to cry on. Yeah, I feel very silly. We've all been there. Has this ever happened to you? Have you, like, cried in a random... Over something so yeah. trivial? Oh, yeah. Because it's, like, all the other stuff that's built up. I'm so, I'm so embarrassed to be, like, tearing up and crying in public. It's... Do not. Do not. I think it's just kind of getting your breath and getting your bearings and then just deep breathing. What made you try to comfort her? I just know how I would have felt. I would have wanted someone to reach out to me and, and comfort me. And I don't know. I just... I feel like we should look that way towards other people. What if it was a man crying? I would be the exact same way. Really? Yeah, yeah. Customers wasted no time consoling a woman in tears. Oh, thank God it's the last one. But we wondered. Is that a size small? Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man, my girlfriend is going to kill me. How will people react if it's a man getting emotional in public? I'm sorry, sir. We don't have this in a small. That's not going to work. I really needed that dress. Immediately, Austin struggles to draw much concern from the other customers. I mean, have you ever had one of those days where just like everything is just like not going your way? Oh, yeah? Is that your day? Yeah. I was planning on getting a dress for my girlfriend, and they don't have it. I know it's... There's other stores here. I know it's really minor, but it's just like all the things just kind of add together. Uh-huh. Can I help you find another dress? No. No, I'm fine. Okay. <sighs> While this next customer doesn't check in on Austin, she does follow up with our actor playing the manager. Have a nice time. Did he say something no, to you? No, he's just acting kind of weird. So I just want to make sure. Oh, you yeah, no, we're well. fine. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Why did she approach an employee? 
These are some young ladies and they're here by themselves and just to make sure that they're safe. I didn't see them crying though, I just saw them over there sitting there. So far, when Austin starts crying in public, most customers keep to themselves, unless they're prompted. Any advice for me? Do you have like any kind of advice? Time will fix things. Just trust me. One day at a time. Oh, that was sweet. This next customer also takes the time to reassure Austin. The night's gonna be perfect, I promise. I'm just panicking, I'm sorry. I know, it, it gets overwhelming. I uh, get so it's a beautiful day and the sun is shining. That's the part you should focus on. This last customer is out shopping with his family. I don't think you're understanding this. Like she wanted this dress right here, like in a small. But then he overhears Austin's plight. I'm sorry, man, but I'm really upset. Just super upset. I've had a lot going on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm married, actually. At first, Anthony Curtis tries to lighten the mood. I'm sorry. Like, I know guys aren't supposed to be crying, but. Yeah, we're not. What are you doing? <laughs> Just having like one of those days. No, it's all right, man. We both don't do that. It is so embarrassing to be crying. But then he makes Austin an offer he cannot refuse. I feel like I need to give you a hug. I would appreciate that. Really? Appreciate that. Oh, holy cow. Before parting ways, this father gives Austin some final words of encouragement. So I'm assuming that dress that you're looking for means a lot? Yeah, I had a special night planned for my girlfriend. I'm pretty sure she'll understand. Don't be so hard on yourself. Thought that counts. Time to introduce ourselves. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You be kidding me. No, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Ironically, we just had a conversation this weekend about me not crying. I haven't cried in like 15 years. Yeah. But yeah, I offered to give him a hug to console himself. And you meant that? Yeah, I really meant that. And it almost brought to tears. Oh, yeah. When he offered to go out of his way to a complete stranger, my son can see it. It kind of brought me to tears, you know, setting yeah. an example for Good him. Good example. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sorry my hug was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, both actors found people who could relate to someone who's struggling and spare a moment for a kind gesture. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.